heart of God is very loving, unconditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we as people, we find reasons not to love. Mm -hmm. We find reasons not to involve, mm -hmm. not to put your hand, not to be hands on. Mm -hmm. And whatever that reason is, it's selfish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God is saying we have to begin to eliminate the selfish mm -hmm. way of thinking and yeah. interacting with one another because wow. there's no productivity in that yeah. at all. Are you familiar with any of the reform of the prison um, rules, uh, statutes, legislation, either there or here? Do you see any reformation that could be coming soon or that is practiced now where the quality of life for a lot of inmates in any region has been um, kind of upgraded to some degree? I think um, now there's a there's a lot of laws. Mm -hmm. um, there's some laws that you don't even know about. Yeah. Um, we as people, mm -hmm. we don't have the privilege to know unless it's we being convicted. Absolutely. And we have broke a law that we didn't even know that it it was that serious or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. But I think in terms of that, I don't know specifically right offhand can mm -hmm. quote a law. Yeah. But I also, based on what I have seen, was yeah. that the laws is not being, I should say, um, implemented in its entirety. Mm -hmm. I think like people pick and choose and pick out what they want mm -hmm. and say, well, we're going to allow you to say you're innocent. Mm -hmm. But we not gonna allow this particular charge to be off your name. Wow. You innocent, but you're gonna have to fight to yes. get that charge off. Yes. They won't tell you that, but mm -hmm. once you get exonerated, then you come to get your name pulled up mm -hmm. and this charge is on yeah. your name. You're like, how's that? And I I was mm -hmm. um proven innocent. Correct. Or, so it's 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 just a lot of unfairness yeah. that I don't think we're gonna ever be able to um, I would say all will be able to escape, mm -hmm. but I think we need to be at least aware mm -hmm. so we could be able to bring it to the forefront and expose it for what it is yes. and what needs to change. We need to fight to that change become a reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's, it's fighting a systematic way of paradigms mm -hmm. or thinking or institutionalized slavery to some degree oh man you said something right there because and, and i want to put this out we're not attorneys no, 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 we're no, no, not no, no. you know in any type of a legal mm -hmm. professions this mm -hmm. is based on our opinion mm -hmm. this is based on our experience. experience this is based on culture community Absolutely. and, and we're sharing and literature yes. so we're just sharing that as well i think um if you look if you uh remember the constitution when it says slavery has been a, abolished itself for the convicted felon yeah so slavery is within the institution, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. But that don't seem like that's scaring or making our brothers and sisters adhere to the reality that you put yourself in a position not only to be enslaved, yeah. but you put yourself in a position to be destroyed. Because wow. so many people enter that system mm -hmm. and be transformed. Yeah. You're either going to be transformed for mm -hmm. the worse yeah. or for the better. That is but, no other way. It's no other way. Mm -hmm. But either way, yeah. damage is done. Yeah. Some yeah. sort of damage and trauma has occurred. Correct. That a lot of people don't get the chance or choose the chance to it to address mm. once they exit. Mm. You know, and it's, I know a lot of brothers that has came out and went back in, mm -hmm. came out and yeah. went back in. Yeah. And I, I talked to um, some brothers that it's, they seem more educated when they locked up opposed to when they out. Why is that? I think it's because it's just a, a, not only a learned behavior, mm -hmm. but I think because they haven't developed. Mm -hmm. Discipline. Not just discipline, but mm -hmm. you know how we become adults mm -hmm. and people say you're an adult based on age, mm -hmm. but it's not mature enough. Mm -hmm. to, it's not connecting. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm you some people are forced to be their best yeah. and that's what they have trained themselves to be gotcha forced mm -hmm. to be your best yeah. opposed to just when you get out here and you're free yeah you just want to be your best willingly yes but that's not the case for a lot of people yeah, yeah. It, it's not their default go-to set right. personality right. it's it's for show yes. for, for for reward yes for credibility absolutely for performance yeah. selfish you know, purposes yeah yes. selfish purposes yes. 
it is it's in, and we this show can go in so many directions because we have so much Man, too much <laughs> too much too much so much to go off of but when we think about institutionalized slavery mm -hmm. and and we think about um relationships but before we start talking about relationships mm -hmm. um when joseph was incarcerated mm -hmm. and he went through uh a myriad of experience yes. in jail yes. but he still had a purpose yes he still had a purpose yes. and he got so much favor mm -hmm. behind the prison walls mm -hmm. that even the the pharaohs and the men of the land mm -hmm. were saying i have a dream go ask joseph mm -hmm. what this means right. because he had proven himself to be a prophet right right, right. and so even being behind prison walls your purposes don't stop Absolutely. even 